Hi guys, so if you didn't gather from the thumbnail, I've had an idea for a while to try and attach a skull to a wall or some type of background with a magnet. That way your skull is just kind of sitting there and you can take it off. There's no hinges, no nothing holding it on there other than just the magnet, magnetic field. Um, so. We're going to see if it, it works. Haven't tried it yet, so we'll see. Uh, my name is Hunter, and this is my shed here in Virginia. So let's see if the idea works. Okay, so my first idea was to get a picture frame, put some magnets in the back, take some leather, Kind of overlay it over top so the magnets in the back put the magnets inside of the skull and then attach it um, so we will give that a try uh, mag magnets may or may not work inside the skull just because they may end up doing the opposite um, so i did get some uh, nuts so we might fill up the uh the cranium with some nuts and see if that works but when I was at Walmart, because that's how cheap I am, uh, saw a canvas and I was like, you know what? This would do kind of the same thing. And I could just put the magnets, here, let's see if we can show you real quick, in the back. And then the other ones would just stick right on. So I may give that a try as well. It is really hot right now, but if I turn on my fan, then y'all aren't going to be able to hear me. So I'll just, I'll tough it out. Okay, first thing is to see if these magnets will fit up inside here. I'm not so sure they will. One for sure, or not. Uh-oh. Nope, that's not working. Okay. Scrapping those and we're gonna fill the cranium up with some nuts instead. Well, he's got a bigger brain than I thought. Uh, put an entire hundred pack of the um, nuts inside of the cranium but the problem I kind of foresee is that it's really heavy now, so that may be a bad thing. Um, but let's give it a try. I think I'm actually going to stick these magnets right on this little sticker on the back. Which is kind of temporary. That way I can remove it. There we go. Okay, so that's not going to work. Uh, hold on, let me turn this off. Okay, so that's not going to work. Skull is much too heavy. There's just not that much of a, um, a force to hold uh, the weight of the skull onto the magnets. So plan B, which I didn't even think of before, but I'm going to give it a try. Um, I think if I just hot glue gun one of these smaller uh, magnets onto the back of the skull, it wouldn't be permanent. All you'd have to do is just soak the skull in water to get it off. But it would put the magnet closer to the magnet that would be inside the frame. So I think I'm going to try that now. Okay, I've got a glue gun and I'm going to give this a try on a less nice skull. Uh, not the bobcat. I'm going to do trash panda and let. Uh, Stick it on like that. If you can see that. But uh, let's wait for this to heat up. Okay, here it goes. All 
I hope this works. I have a feeling it's not going to, but I hope it does. All right, here goes nothing. Let's see if this works. Oh. It's, uh, yeah, it definitely sticks. So it's on, but as you can see, big ugly magnet sticking out the back. So, but you can take it off and stick it on. The idea is there, the concept is there. I just need to refine it a bit. All right, well, I think this is actually going to work. I uh, rounded off the edges of the magnet so it now fits into the bobcat uh, skull very well and it sticks to the canvas very well so I am going to put that aside and then move forward with my picture frame idea and for the very first skull trying this uh, I think it's going to turn out great. Um, if I do this again, which I will, um, I'm probably going to get a lot uh, larger, stronger magnet and that would definitely help with uh, the connection. So let's do this. Looky, looky. Looks pretty good, eh? There's nothing. Let's see if this works. Oh yeah. I think it's gonna work. Look at that guys. Beautiful background, beautiful skull. All you have to do is just pick it up. Put it back. How cool is that? So I'm just going to finish out the back of this frame, and I think that is it. There may be a part two in the future to this video, you know, better magnet, larger skull, nicer frame, that type of thing. But uh, yeah, for the first one, I'm, I'm calling this a win. commented Sarah Prados and she said this would be great for teachers and that's a brilliant idea and then that gave me the idea of you could set up like a display board right had different pictures of different animals and then have the skulls lined up in front and kind of play like a game you know like educational thing for kids and match the skull with the picture of the animal on the board and create you know something like that magnet thing like this that I may very well do in the future so thank you Sarah for that idea or I would love to see someone else do do the same thing no. all right that's good enough for this project I'm gonna call that done and now for the demonstration there you have the Skull. Ta da! Just like that. And it comes right off. And the connection is actually is actually pretty pretty good. It's not gonna fall off unless you really shook it really hard, so there you have it.
Okay guys, there you have it. The magnetic mounting system for a smaller skull. This actually turned out a little bit better than I thought it would, to be honest. Um, I really like this idea and I'm definitely going to improve it. Maybe get some stronger magnets just for a little more security and uh, you know, try it out on some different skulls. But it's just really cool to be able to grab the skull, you know, take it down, show someone a unique feature of the skull or something like that, and then just uh, put it back. So I am really impressed with the idea. I hope you are too. So uh, please consider subscribing if you have not already. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much. I do appreciate your company here on YouTube. And feel free to comment below and uh, like the video. I'm not sure I've ever even asked that. Uh, but if you liked it, click the like button. I think it helps with the algorithm, algorithms or something. So yeah, thanks guys. I'll see you next week.